The issue of discipline is a challenge because we have not called ourselves into certain practices mm -hmm. consistently yes. that make us become. Uh -huh. Because when you become, mm -hmm. then discipline is natural. Hey, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I am with Esther Mushemi. She, the author of Give Me My Mountain. Just before we get into our conversation, I want to quote Bob Collamore because he wrote the foreword for your book. Right. And he said, this book is full of homespan wisdom drawn from her years of building businesses, often against the odds in telecommunications, property, hospitality, and microcredit. Now, this is what I love. He says, Esther positions this book as an aid to entrepreneurs in Africa. She writes for all the business women of the continent. Despite single-handedly building her empire since her husband died in 2007, Esther does not dwell on the uniqueness of being a woman business leader until she gets to chapter 16. <laughs> Almost there. You don't play the girl card and I love you for that. Yes. Let's go to my chapter 2. Mm -hmm. If I perish, I perish. <laughs> yes. What? Yes. If I perish, I perish, but I'm going to do what I must do to get what I must get, period. Isn't it? Yeah. And the question is, how many of us are ever prepared to get to that point? No. In fact, we'd rather it didn't get there. Isn't it? Yes. You want to be and to remain mm -hmm. in the comfort zone. Yeah. That's why I have said success is not for the cowards. It isn't. And if you want to pray the, at the league of success, mm -hmm. you've got to pull out and become extra courageous mm -hmm. to the point where you can say, if I, I perish, perish, I, I perish. perish, but I'm going to make the move. You're going to make the move. Yes. Okay. So, as you can tell, uh, you were once labeled a Dukawala. Ooh. Oh, yes. Kwanza. But it's not a bad thing. Today, I would say it's not a bad really? thing. Really? There was a time? But then, uh -huh. when you start, it's not that common. Uh, yes, when, yeah. And my first job was <laughs> at the corner of Biashara Street. So, so you were a real uh, Dukawala. <laughs> so I was a real You were missing a dot on the head. <laughs> yes. But remember uh -huh. why it was even not a very nice thing. Mm -hmm. I was coming from a very prestigious job. Oh. I was a salaried partner by the time I left my uh, older job. My older job. Uh -huh. And... Um, I will say I was earning good money. Mm -hmm. And if I tell you the figure, even there, even today, it's still reasonable money. Yes. And it was giving me and allowing me to live a certain lifestyle. And the lifestyle was a good lifestyle. And here you are selling and here airtime. I am. Mm -hmm. I've decided mm -hmm. that's not for me. I want to open a shop literally. Mm -hmm. Not where you are employing people, mm -hmm. but literally. You're sitting at the you counter. Are sitting I have sold, mm -hmm. I have banked, mm -hmm. I have cleaned the shop, I have bought the stock. There is nothing that happens in my company today mm -hmm. that I haven't literally done. Hence the Dukawala term. Now, mm -hmm. hence the Dukawala term. Because of that, I did need to recognize that my lifestyle mm. gonna change. Of course. Because I do not have any more mm -hmm. the luxury mm -hmm. of that check that used to come every, month. every end of the month. Mm -hmm. But interestingly, mm -hmm. Caroline, mm -hmm. I don't know what I used to do with that money. <laughs> because I had money on the first, and on that first, there was no money. So that's something I've never understood. Yes. Whether it comes from the fact you have the comfort of knowing mm -hmm. that there'll be money at the end of the Oh, yes. Anyway, but here you are coming into an environment that is so uncertain. Every day, to be honest, mm. it's never the same. No. It's never yesterday. No. And it will never be tomorrow. My goodness. There's so much uncertainty allowed the life of an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. especially at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And there were certain, uh, certain changes that I needed to do. One, as basic as destroying my credit cards. Yes. Literally. Yes. Because I don't want to live on debts. You can't. I can't. How? Yet, in the situation I was, it yes. was very tempting is to continue to wanting swipe. to live and to swipe. And that is one of the things that I said, this I am not doing. 
anymore. Anymore. My social life, I had to make a sacrifice allowed. So your it. friends changed? Uh, yes, I oh yeah. I'm not even, I'm not sure whether I'm the one who changed or them changed, but definitely <laughs> something happened. <laughs> something <laughs> happened. Something happened. Yeah. So you were so you had a shop and you were behind the counter. Oh, yes. Behind the counter. Yes. I told you that chapter eight um, is important to me, mm -hmm. nuts and bolts. Mm -hmm. Because I find that people don't have um, the ability to understand small things matter. And and when, you know, I, I am the sort of person, anybody who's ever had a meeting with me knows the first thing I do is I, I, I'm like, I, I want paper and pen because I think in ink. But when we're finished, I will draw boxes and I'll do quadrangles and I will say, this must follow, this must follow, this, and I will not do it if we don't do this. But your, your, your chapter eight, it's not, um, it's not sexy, but it's important. Mm -hmm. For business people, small things matter. What made you put that bit in here? Uh, why did I put that bit there? One, because my book is very practical. Ah, it what is. What I have said is not what I have seen mm -hmm. somebody else experience or go through. It's what I have practiced, it's what I have seen, it's what I have dreamt, it's what I have thought, it's what it's my learnings. Yes. It's the learnings mm -hmm. I've acquired over time. Mm -hmm. And of course, the learnings have not been easy. You get what I mean? Yeah. By the time I realized that the small things matter, <laughs> it was out of experiences mm -hmm. of not caring about those small things. Uh -huh. And then a major disaster <laughs> falls. And I said, oh my God, Esther, why did you ignore yes. that small bit? Because I know you're buying the book, huh? Yes. There's a part here that is so important, succession plan. This, we're not discussing, I want them to read it. Because at some point, we don't know what's next. We got to the top of the mountain, Alafu. Uh, when you get to the top of <laughs> the yes, mountain, yes. Uh, this is what I've said, when you get to the top of the mountain, uh -huh. because you are the top of the mountain, mm -hmm. you have an advantaged position. Yes. You not only are you able to see the other higher mountain, yes. but you can also see the other mountains that are down there. Mm -hmm. So at that position, what I always say, when you are at the top, don't think. That is. That is God. Mm -hmm. That's not it. No. There is always a lot more that you need to capture and you should consistently and continuously be looking out for what is my next mountain. So she didn't just ask for this mountain, no, but for the next. And there is evidence of the many mountains you have asked for along the way. Yes. You get what I mean? Yes. Yeah. But also, you know, mm -hmm. you were saying that there is more. Um, in the beginning of The Lion King, um, when obviously he's, and the song, The Circle of Life plays, and I think everybody should listen to this, says, you know, from the day you arrive on this planet, there is more to see that can ever be seen, more to do than that can ever be done, okay? But as the sun just rolls off of the sapphire sky, you realize this is how the circle of life works. The fact that you, you don't get to the top of the mountain and decide this is it. There is more to see than can ever be seen. Mm -hmm. And there are other mountains. Absolutely. People now, arrive. They're like nani mefika. Nani mefika. <laughs> and you start yes. behaving like, and honestly, mm -hmm. you can decide to fika and you fika. And there. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, if you come to my office, Caroline, and I'll invite you one of Please. these days, as you enter my reception, one of the, there's something I have framed there mm -hmm. and says, what I has not seen, mm -hmm. what mind has not, uh, even, the has, mi even the mind has, has not conceptualized. Uh, yes, 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 you uh -huh. get what I mean. Mm -hmm. It's what is kept for you, especially if you love God and we all love God. Yes. Let me tell you where I'm coming with that one. Mm -hmm. It says, this is what I say, Caroline, mm -hmm. what I have done has mm -hmm. been seen. Yes. It's not like a challenge. <laughs> yes, you've done it. That means it can be done. Yes. yes. What I have spoken has been hard. Yes, mm -hmm. that was the second bit, part yes. of that quotation. Yes. It's been hard. Yes. What has been hard in the world, mm -hmm. there is nothing big about it anymore. No. What we should be pursuing is what has not been seen, not been spoken, not spoken, not heard, not and no might. No has ever conceptualized. Yes, that's yes. what we should be chasing. Yes. With that, you realize mm -hmm. how unsettled you must always be. 
You know, you in, said that, yes. and I thought about the ladies who have sat where you've sat. Mm -hmm. Nava, who has decided she create the first ever professional running shoe mm -hmm. by a Kenyan. Mm -hmm. I saw um, that. Um, uh, the lady who's the sleep therapist. I don't know how she's going to cope with the number of women who are going to call her because mm -hmm. their children are not sleeping. Mm -hmm. But what has she done? Conceptualize yes. something somebody else has not done. Absolutely. Juju and mm -hmm. Green Spoon. Mm -hmm. um, small Lucy and her purple tea. Mm -hmm. You're all looking at her like this. What mm -hmm. purple tea? Mm -hmm. Where? Mm -hmm. But you see, that's what we should be looking for. Right. That which the mind has yet to conceptualize mm -hmm. has not yet been spoken, mm -hmm. has not yet been seen. Mm -hmm. And you know how Kenyans are with copy, copy. Oh, <laughs> madam. You do this and everybody wants to do that. I know. You get what I mean? Yes. But the challenge is on doing something that has never been seen, never heard or conceptualized by anybody, you know. I want to finish with your favorite um, chapter because you told me it's discipline. Yes, right. And the only reason this, uh, I, you said it and I said yes. Uh, the other day I was having a drink with a friend and she said, there's something about the way we are because of where we went to school mm -hmm. and something we're trying to instill in our children because mm -hmm. realize you cannot unlearn discipline. Mm -hmm. There's a way you're structured and mm -hmm. put together mm -hmm. and you understand it. Mm -hmm. And once it has become second nature, mm -hmm. it takes a moment, you try to, I mean, I, I can tell you as a convent girl, mm. for 12 years, those nuns pano beat us a certain way. Mm. And then when we went to the university, we're like, oh my goodness, I'm free at last. And then you realize you're uncomfortable mm. because there's a way I am. There's a way I am. Why is discipline important for entrepreneurs? Interesting, I have a similar background. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> I went to boarding school in yeah. class four and oh, in a missionary school. So even you, you were panel <laughs> so, between. So, yes. So yes. perhaps that's why discipline is not so complicated and yes, difficult for some of us yes, because yes. We, were, we were disciplined at a very early stage. Mm -hmm. And why do I think discipline is important for entrepreneurs? Because to be honest, without it, it will be very difficult to continue to continue and to achieve and to become an achiever. Yes. Because constantly mm -hmm. you will be tempted by this and by that. that. Yes. Constantly you will be called to make choices. Mm. To dip your hand. Yes. Yes. And for me, if you want to be successful, mm -hmm. you must cultivate a discipline and for me that discipline mm. is allowed certain values okay why do i think is allowed certain values because if i have confidence mm -hmm. with my values yeah there are certain things i will not do almost automatically mm -hmm. because they are dictated by something in my subconscious yes so originally and initially, mm -hmm. the issue of discipline is a challenge because we have not called ourselves into certain practices mm -hmm. consistently yes. that make us become. Uh -huh. Yes. Because when you become, mm -hmm. then discipline is it, natural. It's natural. It is natural. You get what I mean? Yes. Yes. It is natural. Mm -hmm. But, you know, um, what I love about what you said is... As a business person, there are certain things that will look like they're okay to do. After all, many people are doing them. <laughs> but because of discipline, you will resist them. It doesn't come naturally. Mm -hmm. And I believe this is a book you buy for yourself as an individual, because I don't believe you have to be an entrepreneur to, to benefit from the lessons. No. Number two, I think if a friend of yours, a family member of yours, somebody who's dear to you is, has gone into business, is in business, buy them this as a gift. It's a fantastic handbook. This is not Esther being, um, I'm wonderful, therefore read about me. This is not that sort of book. But I also think um, in your charmers, in your investment clubs, don't make your next step without reading this. I hear you. Don't don't make a move without reading this book. And and I'm so clear about this. Right now, I know it's available on Jumia, everything, everywhere, uh, and also in most of the bookshops. Amazon. It's re it's retailing for a thousand what? One thousand four hundred and fifty. I'm I'm buying. Don't give me. <laughs> I'm buying ten. Thank you. And for the n for the first four women I've interviewed, and for the next six, this will be a gift I'll give them. But I wow. need you to sign them. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. You see, um, I'll tell you what I'm buying. Mm. 
when I launched my lipstick, I, I was a little nervous about um, the people who might ask me for a free one. And Dana Opoti, who owns a shop in the village market, said, I bought two. And I told her, oh, I was going to give you some. She said, you've never come to my shop and not paid. And my clothes cost more than your lipstick. Mm -hmm. The only way I know how to support you and show mm -hmm. you I believe in you mm -hmm. is that I have bought. So I will not vote for the book with my mouth. I'm going to buy 10 copies and That's give awesome. them to 10 women. Awesome. And I'm hoping other people will do the same. Because this is powerful. I read a lot. <laughs> this is my 2019 book. And I say this having read Michelle Obama's Becoming. You can all scream and cry and faint. <laughs> having read Michelle Obama's Becoming, <laughs> this is my 2019 book. Thank you. Well thank done. You, thank you. Thank you so, and thank, thank you for honoring me. We've never met, by the way. Yes. We've met here. Yes. <laughs> We've never met. We've met on this couch. You what know, do you want people to take away as we conclude? You know, there's something, Carol, that, have to die, that you have said and you will do that is supporting each other. Mm -hmm. It looks simple, but to me, it means a lot because one thing that people don't know to do, especially women, mm -hmm. is to support each other. I always tell them the other team don't need us, so I don't know <laughs> why yeah. you're not supporting each other. Yeah, so again, networking, Mm -hmm. is very is very important mm -hmm. for entrepreneurs okay i knew mm -hmm. there is something good mm -hmm. that can come out for me mm -hmm. from this conversation aha uh -huh. because of that carlo mm -hmm. i had to look out for you okay i am not sure you even know where some cheese, no. <laughs> Probably, Isn't I remember it? you from a doya, because I used it? to do doya. Hey, one and a half hours Isn't of standing. It? Thank you, Zahida. Again, going back <laughs> to yes. my favorite subject topic, uh -huh. the power of asking. Yes. I knew uh -huh. I had to look for Caroline uh -huh. so that we can have this conversation. Yes. And what does it matter, even if she says no? Actually, I told you, send me the book first. Uh, exactly. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. So... It a smooth yes. ask. Yeah, ask. 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 And you asked. Ask. And I said, it send me the book. Me, even if it's a no, mm -hmm. it will just leave me on the same position as you asked. were before. But by asking, I increase my probability and my possibility of getting a nurse who should make a difference in my life. So ask. 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 Yes. And the ask in your case was give me my, my mountain. mountain. So this is not a, a tea. Esther being a cool about herself. This is a fantastic. It's a manual. In fact, I Carla, love it. I'm a very private person. Mm -hmm. So for you to do this, you really catch me talking about me, you and, and I'm both. glad that you have picked it. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's <laughs> about sharing the, the 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 lessons I've learned and the journey to help people. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's to it. help people. That's, that's it. it. And you know, at one point I said, even if it is for one person, mm -hmm. it's true. If one person would testify yes. that by reading this book, yes. something I, changed. Something changed. Mm -hmm. I'll be okay with that. Fortunately, there are very many people who have read the book. Yes. And I'm glad and I honor God for that. Buy it. Oh, and subscribe. Thank you, Esther. Thank you. So Thank much. you so much. Yes. Thank you. Yeah.